hello everyone welcome back to the channel and a big congratulations for those who have cleared their written examination for kendri vidyalaya sangathan and they are preparing for their interview so my uh, today's demo teaching is for the post of tgt science or they may use this demo in their pgt biology also because my topic is uh, water relations in the plants first of all we we'll learn about the not osmosis about the water relations water relations in the plants okay now how water is related to the plants as you all of you know that water use this sorry plants make their food by the process of photosynthesis and for this they use carbon dioxide water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll so children how this water reaches from the soil to the leaf and this relation is known as the water relations okay it takes place by many processes but before learning those processes may i give you some few uh, terms which must be clear to you all of you because these uh, unless you will clear all these terms you will not able to learn the different processes okay processes there are so many processes in which you will find like osmosis diffusion and uh, uh plasmolysis like this there are so many terms so before the, uh, learning those terms we will go through these we will learn these small terms like the first thing is what is the solution first of all we will learn about the solution solution is a mixture solution is a mixture of solute plus solvent okay when we mix these two in a different ratios we get a solution now come to the types of solution the types of solutions are again uh three types on the basis of solute how much solute we have Uh, added in a solvent on that you will get three types of solutions one is the hypotonic hypertonic and the next is isotonic now let's see how you will differentiate it and it is very easy because we will take this part only solute hypo means less when solute is less than solvent such solution is known as the hypotonic solution next is the hypertonic same only the word you will uh, changes more solute is more then it is hypertonic and isotonic where solute is equals to solvent now let's repeat these terms once again you must know what is solution then the types of solution hypotonic solution hypertonic solution and isotonic solution this must be clear to you before learning all those processes okay now next is the types of membrane why we are learning types of membrane here because as you know water water from soil will go to cell from one cell to next cell and it will go like this then it will reach the leaf part where it is used for the photosynthesis so the water 
has to be passed water or the solvent plus the uh, solute also means the solution has to pass through the different membranes so we must know here the how many types of membranes we will come through it because these terms you will come across while you will learn the physiology of a plant okay here you will find out the types of membrane is one is the impermeable one is the i must use the neck next uh, other the impermeable membrane the second one is the permeable membrane third one is the selectively permeable membrane selectively permeable membrane and the fourth one is the semi permeable membrane okay now we will come to the through four types of membrane here the first one is the impermeable second one is the permeable then selectively permeable and then semi permeable as their name denotes if you go through the dictionary you will find out the simple language of all these things impermeable means need nothing will go out nothing nothing will be pass nothing will be passed whether the solution is made up of water or solute or water solute solvent what not means nothing will be passed through this membrane that is impermeable membrane permeable is which allows all things to go through go through it that is the permeable membrane then selectively permeable means this type of membrane is selectable selected means it will select the part and then allow to go through it and then is the semi permeable what is the semi permeable membrane means the semi permeable membrane is that membrane which allows only the solvent to go through it only the solvent only the solvent now in this way you can make the students learn about these terms and after that you come to the next point that is now today we will learn about the most common process most common type of uh, relationship between the water that is the osmosis okay i think <laughs> for demo it is um, it is enough and uh, next part we will take up in the uh, second video in which i will give you the complete uh, explanation of the osmosis how you will explain the one definite term osmosis to the students okay now revise or review the students about these things okay, let's uh, learn these uh, terms for tomorrow's learn uh, teaching and uh, class hypotonic hypertonic isotonic impermeable permeable selectively permeable and semi permeable this is enough for today's lesson and if you find it fruitful for you you can kindly use it you can comment in my box comment yeah, what kind of other topics we can take up for the pgt biology or the tgt science i will go through those type topics and i'll try to give you as simple as so that your students may enjoy your teaching and you may also enjoy your uh, work Thank you.